Have you ever wondered how you can download fonts onto your iPad that you can use in Microsoft Word or Cricut Design Space? I'm going to show you how you can do this for free. The first thing that you need to do is to go to your App Store on your iPad and you're going to open up your App Store. Once you're in your App Store, click your search button and you're going to type in the words iFont. Once you have your iFont typed in, you're going to click the Get button to get the iFont app. So then you need to process your payment and then wait for it to download onto your iPad. Once the iFont app has downloaded onto your computer, go ahead and open up the app. You can read the welcome statement or you can just click at the bottom, start using iFont. So once you're in the app, the left hand side will show you all of the fonts that you have installed and it will also give you options to download fonts from the app itself, which we will look at later on in the video. Since we want to download our own fonts, we're going to close out of the app and bring up Safari and we will go to dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. Once you're in Dafont, you can use the search engine to type in a font that you want, or you can just browse all the fonts that they have. I'm going to use a pretty cursive font. This is called Erotis, and it's just a modern cursive font for personal use, and I just think this is a really beautiful font. So this is the one that I'm going to use for today's video. Now if you want to purchase this font so that you can use it to sell your products with, there's a link at the very top on this Defont website that you would just click that link and that will take you to where you can purchase it. So I'm going to hit the download button in the top corner and hit download again. Look in the top right hand corner and you'll see a circle with a down arrow that shows you where your downloads are at. Go ahead and click on it and it will open the folder where your download saved to. Mine saved to my iCloud drive. Yours might be automatically set to something different. If you ever need to get back to your download folders, at the bottom of your iPad, you should have a blue folder. You click on that and that will bring up all of your files. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and open up the iPhone app. So once you're in the iPhone app, if you look on the top left hand side corner, it says search for imported files. If we were to search for the file that we just downloaded, we will not find it because you have to install your font before you can search for files. So this is only after you import the file into the app, you will find it then. So we're going to click the purple install button that's located in the center of the app. So once you click on that button, it's going to open up a menu for you. You can read through that menu, but it just tells you how you can install a whole bunch of fonts all at once instead of just inf installing them one at a time. So hit the continue button and then hit the allow button on your screen. And then this profile downloaded will pop up and then you will hit the close button and then the installer will show you here what you will need to do, which we will go over in great detail. So I'm going to close out of this menu and I want you to notice on the left hand side that my Aerotris font is not listed there and it never even asked me what my font title was that I wanted to import. So in my opinion, Using the purple install button here does not work. So we want to use the installer button that's located at the bottom left hand side of the screen. It has a little box icon to go with it. When you click that, it's going to pop up your iCloud drive and then you can click the title of the font that you're downloading. So ours is the Aerotris font. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And then you can see at the bottom, there's a blue install button. So I'm going to click that install button. So now you'll notice on the left hand side, my Aerotris font is on there. If I look at that installer button, it has a one on there showing that there is a new font that's been downloaded. 
Now you think you could just hit that install button, but if you do, it's just going to tell you how to download a configuration profile. You would hit accept and then the close button. And then it just brings up that other menu option right here. And nothing really works until you do the next step that I'm about to show you. So if you click on the star, which is the featured fonts, then it will show you fonts that are already in that app that you can install on your computer for free. So you can see that there are a ton of fonts in here. So if you find one that you like, all you have to do is hit that blue install button next to the font. And it's, there's no extra charge to use the fonts that are already in this app. Now, if you click the install button that is on the bottom right hand side of your screen, that will show you all of the fonts that are in, currently installed on your iPad. So if you look through the fonts, you can see that my font is not installed on there. So to get the font on your iPad, you need to click your settings button. So if you scroll down and you look at your general and then go to your fonts, it will show you all the fonts that are downloaded on your iPad. Only fonts that were downloaded directly from the iFont app will show up in this section. So the fonts you download from the font will not show up in this spot. So just be aware of that. So to install your font, you want to click Profile Download. It's right underneath your name. So click that and then hit the Install button on the top right hand side. And then you will need to type in your password. This is the password that you use to log into your iPad. So you will go ahead and type that password in your iPad. So it will say the profile is not signed. Don't worry about that. Just hit the install button on the top right hand side. Now you're going to hit the install button again. And then you will hit the done button on the top right hand corner. Now if you ever want to find your installed fonts on your iPad or your iPhone from the font, you're going to go down to the general and then you will click the profile and then you will see all of your fonts under your profile. So you can see my Aerotris regular has now been downloaded. If you click on your font and then click remove profile, this is how you delete fonts off your iPad. Now when you go back into iFont and you click installed at the bottom and you scroll through your fonts, you will see the font that you downloaded into the program now. And then if you click installer, you will see all of the fonts that you've downloaded off of the font or another website. Now that you have your font downloaded on your iPad, you can use it in other programs such as Cricut Design Space. Click the text box menu option, go to system, scroll down, and you will find your font downloaded into the list of fonts. Then you can type in any words that you would like. If you don't see your font in the list of the font options, then you will need to sign out of Cricut Design Space and then log back in and your font should be listed at that point. You can also use downloaded fonts on your iPad in other programs such as Microsoft Word. If you click the font option and keep scrolling, it's only going to show you your Office compatible fonts and your font will not be listed. If you keep scrolling down, it will show you all the fonts that you have downloaded on your iPad. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to learn more crafting videos, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything.